Hello and welcome to NTD TV. My guest at this time is Ian from Tagi Tech. We're going to be talking about just part of your extensive drilling range today, aren't we Ian? We are indeed. This is the drill rush. Yep. Why was it brought to market? This was brought to market to replace brace headed drills because there is a benefit of a, a steel body with a carbide head on the end of it. But obviously brace headed drills were always an issue because regrinding, resetting. This, this tool replaces all those problems. It starts from 6 mil and goes up to 25.9, so it's a big range in 0.1 increments. I can see the body's coated. It looks great, but I'm sure there's a, a better application for that, a good, better reason. Well, the reason for the, the coating is, and it's polished as well, is to help the evacuation of the swarf to get out of the hole, which you don't want swarf jamming in the hole because it will cause you lots the of issues. The biggest issue of drilling exactly. any material, isn't it? Exactly. There? Okay, and, and can we peck drill with these? No, you, no pecking, straight in. If you peck, you always have a problem because there's spindle loads when you start a drilling process. Once you start drilling, you want to carry on, and this drill is not to be pecked, it's straight through to the bottom. Even with a 12 times D? Even with a 12 times D as well, yeah. Well, that, that's a good accolade for the drill because you're obviously getting the swarf out, otherwise it would choke and. That's the benefit of the coating and the polishing and the geometries. Mm -hmm. How about the inserts? The inserts, um, they're in 0.1 increments. We do, currently, we've got three different geometries. Mm -hmm. Uh, for steel, stainless steels, cast irons, with different grinds on it. And how is the insert fitted? It's, it's a very simple location. There's a key which you just locate into the two grooves. Can you show me? Yeah, sure. Of course I can. It just goes into the two grooves, and then you just twist and turn, and out it comes. And it's as easy as this. And then it's the reverse to put the, the head back in. You just put it straight in, twist, Simple. Very easy. Very easy. Even for you, Ian. Even for me. <laughs> How about the length ratios? Is that 3, 5 and 8? We start at 1.5D okay. and we go up to 12D. We go 1.5, 3 times, 5 times, 8 times and 12 times. So it's a good option. And you've got extras, I see. That's a, is that a 45 degree chamfer? Yeah, it's a collar. So if you're doing a, a, a hole where you just want a chamfer on there and you've got volume of holes, you just add the collar onto it and away you go. You've got a drilled mm. and chamfered hole. And you can set the... You can, set, you can set various different lengths within the flute. Mm -hmm. So obviously longer flute bodies, bigger chamfer. We also do a standard tool now with a threaded version for, for tapped holes, M8s, M10s, for a blind hole where it will drill the hole and then chamfer in one hit. And on the drill brush, I do like this, but how repeatable is it? It's very repeatable. I mean, one of the biggest advantages of this is, is reducing downtime and the setup time, which obviously when you're resetting a tool is critical because you want to get the machine running again. This tool, you can, as you've seen, is easy to change the head and the repeat repeatability was within microns. So it's excellent. I've actually had operators um, on a twin spindle machine with two, two, two jobs going on. It takes them no more than one to two minutes to set this, whereas previously with brace headed drills, it was an hour and if the grind was wrong, you know, it, yeah. it was a nightmare for and him. And on and on. And he's a happy man now, so always good. And when this stops, presumably the spade starts? Yes, this stops at 25.9. So we then move on to this new, uh, new drill we've added. This starts at 26 and goes to 41 mil. So this, this one replaces this one, because obviously the, the size of the head and the location, this one has got a very easy uh, principle of uh, locating the insert into the tool as well. That's how, that's how easy it is. Even you can do this show. Yeah. No, so I noticed this body isn't coated. Is, does that mean there's any performance benefits? To it's it? not the same issue when you get to a larger diameter hole. The smaller diameter holes, it's critical to get the swarf out. Because of the, the flute we have in these drills, there's a lot of room for the swarf to evacuate out of the hole. Sure. That's a good idea, isn't it? Quite often you have to remove the screw from side. Oh, you, you don't need to remove the screw. It's a very, it's a very clever system on locating the, the head into the body. Mm -hmm. um, we also get, um, it's a, a very high performance drill because it's got two effective uh, drilling edges on it. And through coolant on both ranges? Through coolant on all of them. Anyone that drills without through coolant, that's their problem. Good luck. Exactly. What are these in here? Are they just different sizes? These are, is, these are different solutions to different problems when you drill in holes. Uh, this one, for example, is a, a double margin mm -hmm. uh, head. So when you want a good um, straightness and a good surface finish in the hole, this will give you below about 1.6 and below. So it's an excellent solution mm -hmm. where you can just drill a hole and get the productivity. Mm -hmm. This one's flat bottom. This is a flat bottom, so if you're drilling and counter boring straight away, you can drill this straight in and it'll give you a flat bottom at the, at the bottom of the hole. 
It's an extensive range, isn't it? It's very good, and they add into it all the time. At the moment, we've got three different geometries, and then the double margin, flat bottom, and it's growing all the time, this product.